What's up guys and welcome back to Star Wars Central with a full breakdown today of the new solo content coming to Battlefront in the second half of Season 2. The new content, which was revealed today, is set to release in just 6 days time on June the 12th, so it's definitely not long now until we get our hands on a new map, a new game mode, a new vehicle and of course some fresh skins. For this video today, I'm going to break down everything that's coming in the solo season, and also talk a little bit about Season 3, which I think is probably going to be announced at EA Play in just 3 days time. Anyway, let's begin. So a community transmission and trailer was released today which gave away all of the details for the new content. It turns out that 6 days from now we're going to get a new map, a new game mode, five new skins and a new version of the Millennium Falcon. Now the new map is based on the Coaxium Mines of Kessel and is by the looks of it a very close quarters map based in caves, tunnels and what seems to be an industrial factory. It actually reminds me a lot of Sullust from the Outer Rim DLC back in Battlefront 2015 and all of those maps turned out to be absolutely brilliant for gameplay which leads me to believe the Kessel map for Battlefront 2 will probably be just as good. The thing is, DICE have a very good track record with making close quarters maps. Maps like Amion in Battlefield 1, the Death Star from Battlefront 2015, Kamino from the current Battlefront, and now hopefully Kessel as well. The only other thing I'll say about Kessel is by the looks of it is just the one map, which is kind of a shame. I'd have liked to see maybe two maps arrive in Season 2, one based on Kessel's surface and another based on the interior inside the caves. That way we get a bit more content since the assets have evidently already been made, we'd get more bang for our buck. I'm not saying that we're paying for this, it is free DLC after all, I just think that it's a missed opportunity. Anyway, moving on, the Extraction game mode from Battlefront 2015 is coming back to Battlefront 2. Extraction was by far one of the best game modes in the previous Battlefront game, a lot better than Blast, and it provided a great source of close quarters team gameplay. Battlefront 2 desperately needs something like this because Strike isn't really as good as it could be, and Extraction could provide players with a strong small game mode that focuses very heavily on squad gameplay. Now I know that this isn't really what everyone wanted. I know we wanted to see a larger game mode, maybe a version of Conquest that would have, again, more focus on sandbox gameplay similar to Battlefield and the older Battlefront games. All I'm going to say guys is that I know we all wanted a sandbox mode, but keep an eye out for EA Play this year because I really do think that some big announcements could be coming our way. Next up we've got some new skins coming in Season 2, we're getting 5 new skins, all of which can be purchased using in-game credits or using crystals with real currency. There are two new legendary skins for Han, both of which are based on the younger Han Solo from the new movie, the first is called Corellia Escape and the second is called Beckett's Crew. On top of this, Lando will also get two new legendary skins, the first is called Sportsman and the second is called Raconteur. And last but not least, Chewbacca gets one epic skin which is called Vandor Heist and the only real change that happens is that he's got goggles this time, which of course is from the Solo movie. Overall I think these new skins are pretty good, my favourites are definitely Chewie and Lando, I'm not really a fan of the Han Solo skins but to be fair we are getting 5 new skins which I think is decent for the second half of season 2, that brings the total number of new skins in the whole solo season to 7 skins if we include the Leia and the Lando Skiffguard skin from Return of the Jedi. Now personally I still think that 7 skins for a 2 month time period isn't really enough to sustain Battlefront 2 but it is definitely an improvement to the game and I'm not going to say that it's a bad move because obviously getting new skins and getting more content is only better for us as players so all I'm going to say for now is please continue adding skins to the game and increase the number of skins you're adding as well. And last but not least we've got a new vehicle coming to Battlefront 2. Technically it is just another version of the Millennium Falcon, but at least this time the Falcon actually looks different. Of course I'm talking about Lando's version from the new Solo movie. You can purchase it using in-game credits on the 12th of June and it does come with a few new abilities. The first ability is Coaxium Injection which gives the Falcon an instant speed boost beyond its maximum speed for a long time. Now this ability can actually be cancelled at any time if you want to return to the original speed of the Millennium Falcon. 
The second ability is L337 Copilot. You can call upon your Copilot L337 to highlight enemies for yourself and friendly starfighters. Any highlighted enemies will receive an increase in damage inflicted against them. And finally, the last ability is Synchronized Fire, where you can fire both of the Falcon's guns at the same time with increased damage. So that's the last piece of new content coming in the solo season. There are some other changes regarding the menu, jetpack cargo, and some timed challenges, so I'm going to break those down as well. For the menu updates coming in the solo season, DICE have now confirmed that all hologram menu stages are going to be removed. This means that the spawn screen and the scoreboard screen in-game and in multiplayer will all change to the new menu system, which of course doesn't use holograms and does look a lot better. I think this will be a good improvement and DICE even mentioned that they might add inspecting tools for items and characters on the menu, so generally some good changes will be coming for the user interface in Battlefront 2. Moving on again, Jetpack Cargo is coming back to Battlefront 2 with some map changes. They've decided to remove the Bespin map and replace it with Yavin 4. And on top of this, DICE have also changed how the spawn system works by getting you to choose a weapon rather than choose a class. This should help balance the mode a bit better and make it more enjoyable when it returns. And finally, the last piece of news today is that timed challenges will now be on the front main menu as you load the game, this should make it easier to track your challenge progress, and of course remember that you've got challenges to complete. You can still navigate through the career tab to get to them, but it's not required anymore. Okay, so that's everything coming in the second half of the solo season, so I guess you might be wondering why did we get this announcement today? Everyone was expecting the solo season to be revealed at EA Play in about 3-4 days time, so the better question to ask now is what's coming at EA Play this year? Well, the thing is, we've got a load of teases from our community manager saying that they've got more to talk about, and that there's a reason they're talking about this now, meaning the solo season, and not talking about the solo season at EA Play. I think it's very clear we've got some big announcements coming, maybe even Season 3, so keep a lookout for Season 3 news, and of course other Star Wars games getting announcements at EA Play on the 9th of June. Anyway, that's it for this breakdown today. If you learned something new or just want to see more coverage of Battlefront 2 and other Star Wars games as we go through EA Play this year, then please feel free to subscribe. It is free. It's not required. You can keep watching the videos if you want to, but it does help me put more time into this channel. On top of this, I will be covering the whole of EA Play this year, so if anything major is announced, then I'll make another breakdown just like this one. I'll see you guys next time, and may the Force be with you.